2020 readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you don't know your moon and rising signs, there is a link down below with Cafe Astrology. I am not affiliated with Cafe Astrology, but there's a link down below where you can get your free astrological chart from them. In addition, I wanted to give you guys a couple of announcements. We got some cool things coming up. So, to all of my international clients, I know there are several of you that have trouble meeting my personal reading times. As a result, I'm opening up some slots just for you. Just for those of you that are international. US, Canada, South America, North America, I still have my time frames for you. <laughs> Um, but those of you that are in Australia and New Zealand, I'm opening up some late night readings. Um, late night for me, I think it's early morning for you. Um, in addition, I will be opening up some slots uh, earlier in the morning for those of you that are in the UK or in Europe, um, you know, that have some trouble meeting my time frames as well. So just letting you guys know, you will need to email me directly if you are out of country so that we can set up a time just for you. Um, because I'm only opening up a few slots, they're going to be on a first come first serve basis. I book up pretty quick. So if that's of interest to you, there is an email down below. Now, those of you that have been wanting to learn tarot, <laughs> tarot, 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 your opportunity is coming. <laughs> I have um, started developing a beginner's tarot class. It'll be available sometime in June, later in June, um, probably the last half of June. And um, those of you that are looking for more advanced type things, that will be coming up in August or early September. So um, there will be two different courses, the beginner one and the, the advanced one. You don't have to take the full course. You know, you can just order bits and pieces as well. So I'm going to set it up that way. And uh, so that's some exciting news for you. Now we're going to get rolling on your zodiac sign. But before we do, make sure to mash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Share, share, share with friends, family, social media, that sort of thing. Thank you in advance. And thank you to those of you that have been ordering personal readings and extended readings. Links are always down below. Let's get rolling. Hello, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be your June 2020 reading. All right. Scorpio. Try that again. All right. so Scorpio, if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using today in this reading or in the extended for Scorpio, there will be affiliate links down below in the description box. Okay, told to stop. Scorpio. the deck we have the emperor yes i love it love it love it love it this is your card it's it's technically the card of aries but it's ruled by mars this card is ruled by mars which means it's also a scorpio card because scorpio you are ruled by mars and pluto so i love it i love it so this is your overall energy of the reading is the emperor this is you taking control of your life. This is you taking control of a situation, your finances, your love life, your family life, etc., etc., etc. This is you being a bad A double. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, Ten of Coins. First four cards are the first 10 days of June. Ten of Coins, the Two of Wands. The devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. The eight of cups. You are walking away from something. We'll look at that more. But it looks like you had to get some money first or get your financial stability. 
Next four cards are the second 10 days of June, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Coins, the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh, I love it. Two, two, two. You are making a huge decision in the month of June. Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins. Five of Cups. Six of Coins. Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, you got all four twos. All four twos. Nine of Wands. All right. Scorpio. This is, this is rather interesting. So we have somebody you can't get off of your mind, somebody you're, you're very physically attracted to that appears to be, you know, a, a mutual love between the two of you. But yet you're gripped in indecision here. You have all four twos. This is major change. Major change. Getting all four twos in a reading is, is very unusual. I mean, usually you get maybe two, sometimes three, never all four. So this is huge change. Huge change with the, with the two here. Huge change. And because it's such a huge change, that's very likely why you're ending the month in, in indecision. But you're so heartbroken. Like the heartbreak seems to be keeping you in indecision somehow. All right, let's start with this. Your ten of coins. And see, and it's so interesting. So it's like here you are the emperor, right? And the emperor, the emperor is also, you know, about getting control of your life. And, and you have choices. You have a choice to make, a big choice. It's a big choice. So we are going to use the muse deck to clarify. And the first thing we're going to look at is that ten of coins. Ten of coins could be peace, could be happiness could be family, could be just uh, overall sense of financial security, a nice nest egg that you're building, or you've had, um, you're having some sort of money coming in in the first week of June. Some sort of money coming in. Let's see. Tell me about this 10 of coins, please. Three of materials. This is when more than one person works together to, to bring about some sort of change some sort of goal, some sort of dream. What an awakening. You may be dealing with a third party situation, actually. Having the awakening card here with the three of materials as well as the 10 of coins. Some sort of awakening on a heart level, on a heart level. Let's look at this two of wands. The two of wands is deciding what sort of action to take. So let's find out what we can find out about the two of wands, please. Two of wands. Your <laughs> lack of balance is coming in the second week as a result of a lack of success. So this is interesting because here you have success and here you have a lack of success. Don't spend your money. If you get if you get a big if you get a big sum of money in in the first week of June, Scorpio, set it aside. Call it a gut feeling. Set it aside. The world. So you're trying to decide on how to take action to end a cycle. Could be walking away from something in particular because the world is about endings and new beginnings. Um, trying to figure out how to how to end a cycle. You're definitely trying to end something because you're walking away here. So let's look at the devil. What does the devil have to do with? What does the devil have to do with? I'm getting 
getting devil is in the details. You might be planning something, especially with the emperor. If you're planning something, Scorpio, don't forget a deep, make sure you go over all the fine details. You may have been missing something. You may have missed something. Devil is in the details. Something, something's being missed. Whatever you're planning, all right? Oh yeah, you're planning something all right. <laughs> wow. It looks like you're going to take action to express how you're feeling towards someone. Now, once again, could be third party situation. But having both cups here, I feel like you're going to be expressing how you feel. Here's that awakening on the heart level. Remember the awakening that we have here on the heart level. And the heart is illuminated with the page of cups. Three of emotions is about reunion. The knight of wands is about taking action. I feel like you're kind of really desiring somebody strongly like perhaps you can't seem to get them out of your head Scorpio with the devil here can't get them out of your head and you can't get them out of your heart so what's going on with this eight of cups what is Scorpio walking away from in the first 10 days of June Voices, you get news that you've been hoping to hear, and then you hold on tight to something you care about. That seven of inspiration. Anything else on the eight of cups? What's Scorpio walking away from? Whoa, those were my fault. These. They're spirits. Oh my goodness. Now, you're not walking away from this. You're walking to this. You get news that you've been hoping to hear. You're walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. But we see justice. We see something positive is occurring here. And here's your empress. You're leaving to go towards your empress. Could be twin flame union. Emperor and the Empress, divine union. We have the queen of emotion here and the ace of materials. You're wanting to offer them a fresh new start. This queen of emotion is somebody who's very intuitive, very admired, very respected, um, wears their heart on their sleeve, possibly water energy. You, dear Scorpio, are going to go get your Empress. So what happens here? I see the two of you together here with the Two of Cups. So what happens? What happens? Let's look. Please excuse the dog snoring. Second 10 days of June, we have the Knight of Swords. You rushing in to communicate, or vice versa. It looks like you're the one who's taking action, though, Scorpio, based upon the fact that you got the eight, <laughs> the eight of cups. Uh, the, you got the eight of cups twice. See, I told you, you're, you're the one who's you're going to communicate with someone else. You're, you're, you are leaving to go communicate. <laughs> Page of inspiration because you're not letting go of them page the page of wands holds on to things that holds on to think something that they love we saw the heart activation here the heart activation there you know you holding on to something that you love came up with the seven of wands now it's coming up again with the page of inspiration i think you're going to come in fun and flirty with this person Let's see what else we've got there Six of materials. You're gonna offer them something. 
maybe just your time, you know? This could be the date card too, so you might be asking them out on a date. They already saw this being out of balance because of a lack of success that might have been in the past. That might be what you're communicating to them. You may be communicating to them, hey, I have feelings for you. Let's see. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? Oh, yeah. Totally. That's exactly what you're doing. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands. Victory. Victory. King of Cups, that's your energy, Scorpio. King of Cups, you're expressing how you feel. Let's look at our Queen of Coins now. Queen of Coins is a very caring energy, very giving, uh, filled with unconditional love, looks after the needs of other people before herself. Could be a man or woman, doesn't matter. Ace of Voices. I think this is your Empress. You're showing up with very similar energy here with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Coins, and the Empress. Let me take another card on that. Ace of Voices is brand new communication. I just love her hair in this. It looks like my hair. <laughs> the per the purpley pink. I just love that. <sighs> Kitty hair. That card is kitty hair. High priestess. Trusting your intuition on this. Here's the lovers. You making a love decision. Yeah, I feel like your person's, you know, kind of gonna you're you're not you're gonna be a little bit surprised that your person actually accepts you and treats you with kindness. Um, I don't think you're expecting that, but, you know, you may be hoping for that. But yet, here we have this Five of Cups in the last 10 days, so let's see what that's about. Might be the situation that you're walking away from. All right, six, six of emotions, that's that desire for reunion. Ace of inspiration is just showing us this brand new start here with that communication. And oh, yeah. All right, it looks like you may, there's already, there may already be another relationship with the Hierophant, the Ten of Inspiration, and the Nine of Voices. Um, the, these three cards came out together separate from the six of, six of Emotions. I feel like the Six of Emotions is you and your Empress, right? And this heartbreak is, oh gosh, you know, that overwhelming feeling of, now I have to go communicate with this person that, you know, my little tiny walk away that I, kind of said was maybe a small break, but I really meant it as a big break, actually turns out to be a big break because my person still loves me. So now I gotta go deal with this situation. Now here's our six of coins again, that date card we saw over here. So let's see what's going on with it. It's crossed by the queen of voices. The night of inspiration. I think that um, whew, night of inspiration, king of coins. It's you're gonna have to stand your ground on on your walking away, Scorpio. You know, night of night of inspiration is your card. It's uh, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Um, specifically, the last ten days of the Scorpio um, sign. And the queen of voices, it's like they want to get down to the bottom of things. It's like you, you, you kind of have to like take your person um, somewhere and have this discussion. <laughs> All right, two of swords. So something happens, you get into two of swords mode. Internal conflict about moving forward. It's typical for a Scorpio. <laughs> and looking towards the future. So maybe you start second guessing yourself and worrying. Guys. There's the three of voices. Heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. 
I don't think you want to break either of these people's hearts, Scorpio, but the one you want to be with is, you know, the Empress. Somebody's heart's going to get broken here regardless. The moon. The moon. The moon says, you know, you need to trust your intuition about moving forward. And, and the moon also speaks of taking that forward movement without, you know, worrying about what's going to happen in the future and just allowing your path to be illuminated as you move forward. As you move forward, you know, towards your Empress person. Tell me about this Nine of Wands, please. Anything on the Nine of Wands? Nothing? A magician. All right. <laughs> this is saying you have the power to get out of this cycle of round and round and round and round. You know, that merry-go-round that doesn't stop, that constant, you know, constant churning in your mind of, of all the possibilities. Um, I'm going to take your divine animals for each week. And then I'll discuss what we're going to go over in the um, extended. Okay. June 1st through the 10th, we have the red fox. What did I say? I said you were making a plan. Here's you make strategizing. Remember I said devil was in the details? Make sure all your bases are covered, Scorpio. Make sure all your bases are covered. Second, two days. Secrets are coming out and stability. All right, so I do see that you're gonna be communicating with this, this person here. And when you do that, you, you may have to tell them some things that you kept hidden from them in the past. Um, but it looks like it brings you to a point of stability with this person. It's like you just need to have an honest, honest conversation with them. And then what do we have? Happiness. Happiness, Scorpio. Happiness. But at the bottom of the deck, we also have fear. So you're going to have to overcome the fear that's down here in order to have your happiness. All right, um, the raven also is showing. I'm only taking it because ravens are a sign of Scorpio. I wasn't gonna take another card off the bottom, but they are a sign of Scorpio. This one says news. Remember I said news was coming in that you wanted to hear? So pay attention for the news because you will hear it. Something that's gonna make you happy, make you feel like you can move towards your your divine counterpart. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right, so Scorpio, what we are going to do, we are gonna look at the divine union in the extended. Um, we're gonna see how your person is feeling. We're going to see, you know, what kind of challenges you may face. Um, and then we're gonna kind of look at short-term, long-term outlook, that sort of thing. Um, Anything else that may come up energetically, that's what we're going to look at in the extended. So if that's of interest to you, there is a link down below, and I will see you over there.